hello everyone <clears throat> hello everyone this is blood queen tara and i am here to do a reading for virgo virgo this is your monthly reading for june 2022 so this is for the first half of june the first to the 15th so virgo please keep in mind that this reading it may or may not resonate with you some parts of the reading might resonate other parts of the reading might not as well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can manifest the first half of June. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or Virgo, this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. So Virgo, I, I got a lot of messages for you during a pre-shuffle, and I'm going to try to... um. Remember all of them and tell you. So, I picked up on the energy and I heard the words as well. So, I heard simple, simplicity, and ease. Simple, simplicity, and ease. Virgo, I heard that you're a simple person. You're just simple. Um, you could be dealing with somebody that likes to complicate things. Um... Or Virgo, you could be learning how not to complicate things. Um, I kind of picked up too, like, um, softness. Um, Virgo, if in the past or the recent past, you was experienced, like, turbulence or upheaval, I think the first half of June is going to be a good time for you. Things are going to be, like, peaceful. I also picked up somebody can have a baby. So it's like it was soft, like somebody was singing like a lullaby or something to a baby or somebody has soft sounds or soft music playing. Somebody could have their face like up against a baby's ear and like whispering to a baby. Like something like that. So Virgo, I don't know if you or somebody else could be like rocking a baby to sleep or something like that. Things were very peaceful, like at ease. Um, soft, simple, like things like that, just peaceful. So I kind of picked up too, somebody could be putting a baby to sleep or singing a, a lullaby or something or humming some type of melody or something. I also heard Virgo, somebody, it could be spirit, but somebody is teaching you how to be a Virgo. And I'm like, okay. So, Virgo, this is two things I picked up on. Because I'm like, how can somebody teach somebody how to be who they are? Mm -hmm. So, Virgo, you a Virgo. So, I'm like, how, what, you know. But I picked up two scenarios. <clears throat> Virgo, you could have been on drugs. You could have been on drugs. So, Virgo, you wasn't acting like a Virgo. Because you, you could have had, you could have had drug addictions or alcohol addictions. So you wasn't too much being you. You wasn't behaving like a Virgo or something. Because the drugs or alcohol could have been altering your makeup or something. If you don't have drug addictions or alcohol addictions, Virgo, or the past, you're ascending. So maybe somebody or spirit could be teaching you. It's like you're evolving, Virgo. So you're not the same Virgo. You're a evolved Virgo. Or you're a mature or an ascendant Virgo. Yeah, I heard somebody is teaching you how to be a Virgo. So I'm like, this is drug addictions or Virgo, you're new to some type of ascension or you being evolved. So some type of newness as well with you, Virgo. <clears throat> so those were the messages that I got. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the reading. So Virgo, I'm going to pull your oracle from this deck right here. Um, this oracle is also, is also what's crowning your energy for the first half of June. I'm going to also pull you a card from this deck right here. This deck is like a self-care card deck. But for the monthly readings, I'm using this deck as, um, what you could do, Virgo, the first half of June to where you could be of help or service to other people or somebody else. 
So I'm not using this deck as self-care. It's what you what spirit could be suggesting to you to do for other people or another person to be of help or service to other people. So let me just go ahead. So what's Virgo's uh oracle? What's Crown of Virgo's energy? First half of June 2022. All right. So we have openness. So openness. Yeah, and even on this card, you have um what do they call that? Um astrology. I forgot what they call that. The constellation. The constellation or something like that. Something to do with signs, astrology, things like that. Your sign, your sun sign, Virgo. Or your moon sign. Something could be significant about your moon placements, Virgo. So I don't know. Whoever watching this video, your moon, your sun sign could be a different sign, but your moon could be Virgo or something like that. Somebody moon could be Virgo in Virgo or Virgo. Your sun and moon is Virgo. So anyway, yo, uh, what's crowning your energy is something to do with openness, being open. This girl, I heard open mindedness as well. Being open minded, Virgo. All right. So, what do spirit? What is spirit suggested for Virgo to do? For um, to offer service to somebody else, or to be of help to other people or another person? What is Virgo card for help and or service to others? For the first half of June, how can Virgo be of service or help to somebody else? Or other people. All right, body. Body. So Virgo Spirit probably wants you to give advice on how to, um, for people to take care of their body. Something to do with um, people's body. Um, Virgo, um, if you was like <clears throat> thinking about going to school and, um, Virgo spirit could be, spirit probably wants you to go to school to be something to do with the body. So you probably could be a nutritionist or become a nutritionist or, uh, a personal trainer or something like that. Something to do with the body, but I heard education as well. So, Virgo, I don't know. You could be thinking about starting school and you don't know what your major. You could be trying to, to decide what you want to major in or something. But um, it could be something to do with people, the body. And it say your body deserves your love. So, Virgo, you could be spirit wants you to be a teacher of some sort of on how to teach people how to love their bodies, take care of their bodies. Virgo, Spirit wants you to give your opinion about um, health and wellness for the body. Yeah. So, Virgo, Spirit wants you to um, encourage people, tell people, or teach people that their body deserves love. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's... Uh, a suggestion for you, Virgo, how you can offer help or service to other people. All right. <clears throat> Virgo, I just heard to make suggestions concerning your um your card on how to help others or be of service. I heard make suggestions. Make Virgo, I think you could be dealing with people that's um complicated or they're rebellious. So I just heard Virgo just say it as a suggestion. Make suggestions. Um because Virgo, somebody could just be being complicated towards you because it's you. 
or somebody is not too much fond of you or something like that. So I heard make just make suggestions. <clears throat> Cause I picked that up in your energy too, Virgo. Um, and I heard that Avril, what's that girl name? I think her name is Avril Levine or something like that. Why you gotta go and make things so complicated? So Virgo, you're dealing with a group of people that's very complicated or stubborn. Or you dealing with somebody that's very stubborn. This it's like somebody making something complicated. Yeah, so I heard make suggestions. All right. So what's going on with Virgo the first half of June? What do Virgo need to know? All right. So we had a fool. So Virgo, you can have you can have Aries or Aquarius in your chart or you dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. Then we got the chariot here. Virgo, you could have cancer in your chart or you dealing with a cancer. Then we got the six of cups. So, Virgo, you could have water in your chart or you dealing with a water sign. A Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Probably a cancer. So, Virgo, you could be dealing with a cancer sign or um, you have cancer in your chart. <coughs> Yeah, Virgo, I think you could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius, and somebody could be very foolish. Or Virgo, I see you, Virgo, you could have cancer in your chart. It's like, Virgo, you're giving somebody some advice, and this person can't do what they want to do. So it's like, Virgo, you, yeah, you're going to keep it moving, though. It's like, Virgo, you're going you're gonna to be successful whether this person take your advice or not, Virgo, you was just trying to help this person. But they don't have to take your advice. Virgo, you the chariot. The chariot is success. The chariot is very resilient. The chariot is all about stamina. The chariot will defeat and run over any and everything that's in this path. The chariot knocks down obstacles, blockages, things like that. So, Virgo, you can be like a recovering addict or something like that. Um, and Virgo, maybe you could be trying to give advice to someone that's struggling with something that you overcame and this person don't want to take your advice. Yeah. Yeah. Virgo, you trying to help somebody. So Virgo, either this person is being foolish or Virgo, you're going to make a suggestion to somebody and they're going to try it. Or Virgo, it could be a cancer. Virgo, you could have Aquarius or Aries in your chart. And Virgo, it could be a cancer sign that might uh, be helping you. And Virgo, you either going to ignore this person's advice and do something foolish, do something your way, or you're going to take a leap of faith and trust somebody else's advice. And probably make good on this person's advice. Because Virgo, I kind of see... Whoever is the one helping, this person is like going to keep it moving or this person going to be successful regardless. So it's like somebody helps somebody, then get in their car and keep it moving. It's like, Virgo, you and this person go y'all separate ways. Y'all meet up. You do what you got to do. Help this person or this person helping you. And this person, the fool, and Virgo, you get in your car and you pull off. Like, Simple. Like, this, this person either listen to you or they don't. Something is simple. Mm-hmm. I also see too, Virgo, that... Virgo, you might get stopped by the police... Or pulled over by the cops. And they like going to give you a, war a warning. Or oh, Virgo, this cop is going to tell you something. The Six of Cups. Like somebody going to do you a favor. Or let you off the hook. With like a warning or something. Or this cop is going to tell you something, Virgo. 
that might save your life or something. And it's like, Virgo, you like, oh, okay, thank you. You don't got to tell me twice. Or Virgo, a cop might let you go. Yeah, Virgo, you like, oh, thank you. <coughs> Virgo, you like, you do not got to tell me twice. Yeah. Yeah, Virgo. I just heard that you're going to help someone. And you're going to go on your merry way. Yeah. Virgo, you're dropping knowledge. You're helping people. I heard you're dropping jewels. And you're going to go on your merry way. Virgo, if you a man. <laughs> Virgo, I don't know. You could be a player or a gigolo or whatever you is. But Virgo, you dropping seeds. You get a woman pregnant and you keeping it moving. Like you get women pregnant or you're going to get a woman pregnant and you're going to keep it moving. Yeah, something like that going on. All right, what's the issue going on out here in Virgo's energy? Extreme jealousy. Insecurity triggers, highly possessive, feels threatened easily. So, Virgo, this is the person that I picked up in your energy. Um, That could be making something complicated. Because this person, Virgo, you're dealing with somebody that's extremely jealous. So, that's what this is. Why you got to go and make things so complicated? Yeah. Virgo, something or someone from your past is making something extremely difficult. And it's because this person is jealous. So, Virgo, I don't know if this is a lover. I don't know who this person is that's making something complicated. Yeah. Virgo, you going to help this person and keep it moving. Whoever this jealous person is, you going to keep it moving, Virgo. Yeah, something like that. But that's the issue. And then we got too soon. Yeah. Fell in love too fast. <laughs> yeah, Virgo. Virgo, if you if you a man. <laughs> oh, my God. Virgo, this could be like your ex-wife or your child's mother. <laughs> Virgo, this woman is like <laughs> in love with you, Virgo. But you can't deal with this person because they're extremely jealous. And you can have a child by this woman, Virgo. But Virgo, you gonna keep it moving. Cause you're not dealing with all them emotions, all that jealousy and all that. <laughs> yeah. Virgo, if you a female, I heard you're dropping jewels. Virgo, if you are a man, I heard you're sowing your royal your royal oats. And you gonna keep it moving. Yeah. Or well, Virgo, this is like, if you a man, Virgo, this is like you, your child's mother call you and say the baby need pampers. Virgo, you going to drop them pampers off and then you going to keep it moving. Yeah. Because somebody's extremely jealous. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What's the school with the food? Halloween, something significant about this holiday. All right. Virgo, the people you're interacting with the first half of June or this person you're interacting with the first half of June, Virgo, whatever you're telling this person, you're suggesting to this person, this person is either going to take your advice or they're going to... um. Ignore your advice. But Virgo, whatever decision the fool make, something's going to like happen around Halloween. So Virgo, if this person take your advice the first half of June, Virgo, this person around Halloween might get back in contact with you 
They say, Virgo, it worked. It really worked, Virgo. Virgo, if the fool don't take your advice, the fool still might call you around Halloween and tell you that they got into trouble because they didn't take your advice. So somebody is taking a leap of faith to take your advice, Virgo, or somebody is going to do their own thing, Virgo, and they refuse to take your advice. But something going to happen around Halloween. Yeah. What's the school with the chariot? Blockages. Blockages, yeah. Blockages and obstacles, yeah. So, Virgo, you, you have overcome some type of blockage or obstacle concerning someone or something from your past. And this could be some sort of addiction or something to do with your health. Virgo, you could have had an eating disorder or um, you was ashamed of your body or you had low self-esteem. You overcame these obstacles, Virgo. And you could be trying to help others overcome what you have overcome from your past. Yeah, you overcame something in the past or you're going to overcome something in June. And Virgo, I think you're trying to help somebody else. And this person probably don't want to listen to you, Virgo, because they're jealous of you. What's the school with the Six of Cups? Yeah, an apology. Someone wants forgiveness. <clears throat> so Virgo you could be t trying to explain to someone that emotions affect your body Virgo That's, this is something this is what I see so Virgo you could be trying to tell someone to stop being prideful or someone is trying to tell you this. Because it's like. Somebody in the past. Or Virgo. Some, in the past Virgo. You learned a lesson. Or somebody from your past. Needs to learn this lesson. Or they going to learn this lesson the hard way. It's like. In the past. Someone. Was supposed to say sorry to somebody. But because of their pride and ego, somebody did not apologize. So somebody was exper experiencing blockages and obstacles because of their bitterness or their pride or their resentment. And Virgo, you could have overcame that in the past. So Virgo, maybe, say like in the past, you was very bitter. You was very mean. You was very hateful. And it affected your body. So it's like Virgo, because of your emotions, your negative emotions. It's like, Virgo, you was eating unhealthy or your face. You could have had unhealthy skin or your face will always experience breakouts or something. So, Virgo, you could be trying to teach somebody about the inside. Like, you have to take care of the inner you to have a better body or a better self-image or something like that. Virgo, you trying to tell somebody something like that. Because this is something, Virgo, that you overcame in the past. This is body image. Negative emotions, hate, anger, pride. Yeah. Virgo, I also see somebody from your past wants you to apologize to them. <clears throat> or Virgo, somebody from your past is too prideful. They want your forgiveness, but they're too prideful. So Virgo, I don't know. This person might come back around, um, around Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Virgo, you like kind of like leaving somebody to their vices. Because somebody could be being hard-headed because they're very prideful. Or they have like, drug addictions or something. 
Yeah. Alright. What's the tea with the fool in Halloween? Giving money? So, Virgo, I think instead of somebody doing their shadow work and taking your advice, this person it might go off and do um spell work. So, Virgo, say like you telling this person, you have to put the work in to get better health. You have to eat healthy to clear your skin. It's like, Virgo, this person don't want to eat healthy. This person is going to pay a practitioner for like some type of vi vitality spell or something. And this person paying for spell work, instead of doing shadow work, it might backfire on Halloween. Or oh, Virgo, the person in the full energy could be trying to sacrifice somebody for longevity or something. And it might backfire around Halloween. This giving money is um my card for somebody that's paying for spell work. It's like Virgo, somebody don't want to put in the work. They just want to cast spells and somebody don't want to do like um logical or earthly work. They somebody don't want to do 3D work. They just feel as though they can do all 5D work. Yeah. Yeah, this is like somebody that's suffering from high blood pressure. And Virgo, you telling this person, you have to eat healthy. You can't go to the witch doctor and ask the witch doctor to make it all better for you, but you continue to eat unhealthy. And Virgo, this person like, whatever. And they're going to still go to that witch doctor and try to get healing. And they don't want to do their own healing. They don't want to change their diet or something like that going on. <clears throat> What's the tea with the chariot and blockages? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, Virgo. <laughs> Incarcerated went on the floor. So, Virgo, this, yeah, for some of y'all, a side note, Virgo, some of y'all, a cop might pull you over or something. And they're going to let you go with a warning or something. Yeah, Virgo. Um, Virgo, I think when this cop pull you over, you might want to tell this cop that you apologize. You didn't know. So, Virgo, say like this cop pull you over and say, do you realize um, you passed that uh, the red light? You didn't stop for that red light? Virgo, you're going to say, oh, I, officer, I, I, I apologize. And it's like this cop going to let you go because of your um your response, your reaction, how you talk. Yeah. Yeah, because somebody's not getting incarcerated. So, like I said, Virgo, a cop is going to let you go with a warning. Or, Virgo, you know this cop. So, Virgo, for example, say like you got a warrant out for your arrest or something. And the cop pull you over. They supposed to take you to jail, Virgo. But you know this cop. So, it's like, Virgo, they're going to let you go. Or something like that. And whatever you do after that, Virgo, is up to you. But this particular cop is going to let you. <clears throat> it's going to let you go. Because it's someone from your past. <coughs> What's the tea with the chariot and blockages? Into you and jackpot. <laughs> Virgo, you could be a practitioner too. And Virgo, one of your clients wants you to do spell work for them. And Virgo, you might tell this person no. Because you're telling this person, I'm not doing this spell work for you and you don't take care of your body. Are you still eating pork? Are you still eating greasy foods? Virgo, your client going to say, yeah. And Virgo, you're going to say, I'm not doing the spell work. Or Virgo, you're going to tell this person, if you're a practitioner, 
And this person is coming to you to do spell work. Virgo, you're going to give the, your client the pros and the cons of this spell work. So it's like, Virgo, you might take this person money. But you're going to tell them, like, the pros and the cons of this spell work. Um, so it's like, Virgo, you might tell this client, I'm going to do the spell work, but it still might not work because you're not eating healthy. You're not taking care of your body. So you might tell this person straight up, this spell work can backfire on you or it might not work at all because you're not taking care of your body or something like that. Virgo, you're going to tell this client. Virgo, if this is a client, you could have kids. Virgo, if you're a practitioner, male or female, Virgo, this particular client, you could have kids by this person. But Virgo, you keeping it professional. You telling this person straight up, you don't care if they family, your ex, baby mother, baby father. You telling this person straight up because this is serious. Like Virgo, you're serious about your, your work. Your spirituality. Whatever you do. A spell caster. Tarot reader. Um, vitality spells. Whatever this is, Virgo, you're serious about it. And you're telling this person the truth. And it's like, Virgo, this person could be your lover or ex-lover. You may or may not have kids by this client. But I think this person is coming to you for spell work. And Virgo, you telling this person, get out of here. Like, I'm going to do this work for you. All that other stuff you're talking about, who I'm dating, who my, who my new love is, uh-uh. This is business. Because, Virgo, you're not dealing with this person being extremely jealous. Um, yeah, that's the T. Virgo, I think your client is your ex. Or you have um kids by the, your client. And it's like, Virgo, it's all about the money and you keeping it professional. You don't care that this person is into you. Or you don't care about the past, Virgo. What y'all had in the past. It's all about the money. With Like, with you, this is business. Like, you came here for a tarot reading? I'm going to do your tarot reading and you're going to leave. Don't be asking me about my who my new lover is. Or who I had at my house the other day. Or, Virgo, you're going to have sex with this person? And you're going to still tell them it's none of your business who your new lover is. Something like that. Yeah. What's the tea with the six of cups and apology? Yeah, ego. Yeah. Virgo, one of your clients could be um your ex-lover. And you may or may not have kids by your ex-lover. Yeah, you keeping it professional, Virgo. Because you know your lover is extremely jealous. So you keep it something professional. Whatever this is, whether your work is, I don't know what um line of work you do. <clears throat> Virgo, I also see you could be a female. And your ex is your child's father. And he could be stopping by your house giving you child support or something. Or money for the kids. And it's like, Virgo, your child's father stop at the house giving you your child support. But he want to know who your new lover is. And Virgo, you like, uh-uh. I'm not, no, I'm not doing that with you. Or something like that. Something. Yeah. And Virgo, you probably don't want to reconcile with your lover because of something to do with their body. Your lover probably don't take care of their body. Or Virgo, your lover or your ex or this client... Could be on drugs or something. Virgo, maybe you and the fool used to be on drugs together. And Virgo, you got off of these drugs, but this person didn't. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. So her ego, ego getting in way of relationship. Yeah. Someone wants forgiveness. 
or it's like Virgo, your ex. It's like Virgo, you love your lover. I mean, your ex. But Virgo, your ex could be on drugs. You love them. And it's like Virgo, they saying, let's get back together. Let's reconcile. And Virgo, you saying, you still on that dope? I love you, but as long as you on that dope, no, no, we can't get back together. Yeah, Virgo, you being very practical. You keep it something professional. Or if this is like co-parenting, Virgo, you keeping it like a certain type of way. Yeah. And you probably don't want to reconcile with this person. Or you don't want to do business for, with the, for this person because of they're not taking care of their body. And Virgo, whatever this is, you're serious about it. Because whatever this person issue is, Virgo, you overcame whatever this person issue is. So this person could be very prideful. This person could be addicted to um spell work. Um, yeah, or they're very prideful. Or they have drug addictions or something. Yeah. So it's like, for example, Virgo, say like you a female and your child's father come to you in June and your child's father is trying to convince you they changed. And Virgo, you like, I appreciate your apology, but um, we not getting back together or whatever. Or Virgo, it's like your ex is going to come and give you money for child support, give you an apology, and he be like, I'm going to prove it to you. I'll be back later. I'm going to come back and I'm going to spend time with the baby, with you and the baby. It's like, Virgo, you're not going to see your ex again until Halloween. After all this apology he did and giving you the child support money and... He's saying all this and all that. Virgo, you're not going to see your child's father again until Halloween. So it's like, Virgo, you could the chariot. You like, whatever. I knew he was lying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So something like that going on. So, um, that's what I have for you, Virgo. Um, I'm going to end it because I kind of went over but things like that, that's going on for you, Virgo. Um, so this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And um, Virgo, enjoy the month of June and thank you.